All right, in this video, I'm going to show off how I made the uh, Tiki Luck build. It's not even done yet. But this build will basically give you insane crit rates, and then it'll be like a coin toss to figure out if you get 500 gold or not. So to start things off, I immediately used a silver seal on uh, Anna here to turn her into an archer. I stuck Tiki on her the second she got trip, like the second I got her to make use of Star Spear so that we can try to get her luck as high as possible uh, naturally. Then when she classes up, we use no we turn her into a sniper. I thought about doing warrior so she can make use of the axes and get the killer axes, but this kind of plays into the build I'm going with here. This plays better into the like build I'm doing here and just kind of being a crit monster. Because she has such an absurdly high luck, that means she also has a pretty good crit. So I've given her a killer bow, which I've upgraded to plus five, and I put the blazing brand, which is the one for Lin. That increased the crit by 20 points and hit by 40. It decreased the might, but it also decreased the weight. So I'm practically guaranteed to hit twice per turn, which means you get two crit rolls every single time you attack. Other things you could add to this, I have the longbow and the mini bow, but I haven't really upgraded the longbow yet. These are situational and like, this is going to be your go-to. These are situational weapons that you might whip out in a pinch to kind of just hit certain ranges or to hold a defensive position. I guess I should probably go over what, how you train Anna. The way I actually trained her was because Tiki has that blessing. A vine blessing grant one ally a revival stone. Basically, I would just have her transform turn one, give the stone to somebody, wait, recharge it, transform again, give it to somebody else. And she would get levels that way. Always pick her in the arena uh, so she can get XP. And the two she really wants to work on her bond with. There's two characters Anna wants to work on her bond with. Tiki, which you're going to get naturally, although if you want to pay for it early, I fully get it. Uh, because you'll get a luck plus 10. However, these skills stack. You can buy it here and then have a luck and HP plus 20 while Tiki is equipped. The other one you want to do is Byleth. Byleth also has a luck plus 12. I do not have it yet. He also has a plus 10 that's slightly cheaper, but like get the 12 because we're, we're trying to min max this. And again, Byleth will stack. So once uh, Anna here hits level 40, we can take Tiki off and put Byleth on her instead. But the real thing we're just making use of is the luck. You may still want to keep Tiki in certain situations. It's two points. But if you're trying to min-max and try to make, like, Anna an absolute loot gremlin. Although I will say, the other thing about having Byleth is you'll have Lost and Found by default. So if she finishes near an ally, uh, or ends her turn near an ally, she has a chance to just pick up items which you can sell for more stuff. Tiki just mainly runs uh, defensive skills for your teammates, so... But yeah, this is, a, this is a hilariously broken build that I, uh... Just kind of stumbled on by accident. I was just literally trying to make the most of make a killing. And then I realized she had crazy good crit. So I decided to uh, lean, lean into that with uh, the killer bow. And she ended up being one of the best units in the playthrough so far. Honestly, she's almost as crazy as the dodge tank Yunaka. That is all for this one. Happy haunting.